today uh, we have Mel Leo and uh, welcome Mel to today's episode of uh, Get Your Next Emotion Growth Mindset Conversation Series. Thank you so much for taking time for this show and uh, introducing Mel to my audience today. Mel Liu is an uh, ICF MCC coach. And as a coach, Mel's key drive is to empower catalysts and leaders to become brave leaders who speak their minds, connect with their hearts, and bring out the best in others. Mel runs an ICF accredited coaching school called Catalyst Coach. And he is a co author of three books and author of his upcoming book, Engage How to Stop Living in Default and Start Living the Life You Desire. He That's also right, hosts, <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely title, Mel. Uh, I also uh, would like uh, my viewers or my audience to know that uh, Mel also hosts a wonderful show called uh, 100 Master Coaches, showing, yeah. featuring master coaches from around the globe. Thank you, Mel. Thank you so much for uh, being on my show. It's really a pleasure to have you. It is my pleasure, Manbir. I've known you for a couple of years and I've known your good work all across and it's just a privilege. And I first want to say congratulations on your new book. Thank you. Thank you, Mel. Thank you so much for your kind words. You're welcome. And compliments. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mel, to start with... the. Um, you know, you mm. talk about brave leaders. Yeah. I'm curious, how do somebody watching this show, listening to <laughs> the show, know that whether they are brave leaders or not? That's a very good question, Mambir. You know, brave to some may mean jumping off a cliff on bungee jumping, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, to, to others, it may be just going out there and being the sole provider for the family. Mm, you know, so yeah. whatever the brave level is, mm. there are difference in it. Mm -hmm. And to a person, it doesn't matter if you're not going out there and doing these big things. It is also the small things in life that we can be brave, isn't it? Mm. Like the situation that we are all going through in the world right, yeah. with uh, the pandemic, we all can be brave leaders by mm -hmm. being responsible leaders as well, right, responsible mm. to our staff, mm. responsible to the people that we have hired, mm. you know, one of the things I realized with brave leaders in the workplace, Manbir, mm. is that brave leaders will stand for their people, so when it comes to a time when it's tough and they have to do a bit of cutting, uh, cutting yeah. back. Yeah. Brave leaders will stand up to say in good times and in bad times, I will stand for my people. Oh, and yeah. it may be without the promotion, but yeah. at least I will help you still have a job. But it also may mean that you may have more work to be done, right? <laughs> a lot more, yeah. perhaps. Yeah but still we'll be able to manage it together. So to me, um, Manbir, it's, a, it's where you're at right now in your, our lives. Eh? Mm. And if we can choose to be brave at that point of our life, that would be what I call a brave leader. Wow. So brave to you is what's brave for you or me or whosoever is listening to That's this, right. watching this That's right. at yeah. this moment. In this moment. Yeah, it's yeah. true, true. It's so true. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? There is also the levels, isn't it? Maybe your level of brave is here right now. Yeah. But you and I know that we can go to the next level of brave as well, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. And that's yeah. why we have we have coaches ourselves. We have mentor coaches or business yes. coaches or life yeah. coaches. And yeah. the coach's role, I might say, is to help people to the next level, to their yeah. next level of brave, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. So that's mm. the opportunity there. Yeah. 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 And uh, as you know, uh, this conversation of today is about growth mindset and relating it to the yes. success in corporate. So um, yeah. my next question to you is uh, rather next curiosity to you is uh, <laughs> what is growth mindset for coach Mel? 
Wow, that's a that's a very good question because you know when we say growth mindset it means mm-hmm. it is continuous. Yeah. Right? To me, yeah. Yeah. growth that means you're here right now and there's a chance for you to grow. I believe that every day we can be growing mm-hmm. or stagnant. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. We can choose to actually take steps to grow. Like for example, when I do training and I'm sure you do as well, right? And we have all these wonderful people and say in the in the training and they say, "Mel, Mel, but I don't have the time. I don't have the time to do this. I don't have the time to do that." Yeah. <laughs> growth mindset is about actually making time for our growth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We are making time. So for example, if you and I can have half an hour on facebook example yeah. okay yeah. <laughs> sometimes 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 more than half an hour if you know yes. what i mean but <laughs> I imagine know. imagine if we said okay maximum i will yeah. have this amount of time on on social media mm. and now i'm going to allocate that balance of the time that i've cut yeah. off to maybe watching a ted talk yeah right yeah. maybe joining a free webinar yeah. Maybe yeah. going on to at X and yeah. learning about education mm. on some area that you and I would like to get into. Yeah. There's yeah. so much that we can actually do. But I think what stops us is because we are stuck sometimes in that default mode. And so mm. to to come back to that growth mindset to me, it's about daily decisions. Yeah. How yeah. we can tell ourselves, hmm, do we want to grow today? Yeah. Or do we want to be stagnant? Yeah. 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 I loved what you said, you know, asking that question, do we want to grow today? Yeah. And I'm, right. I'm kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm extending your question. Do I want to grow in this moment? Do I want mm. to grow in this meeting? Do I yes, want to grow in this exactly. conversation? Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. It's it's all about making their choices, right? Mm-hmm. It's uh, and uh, other thing which you said, you know, um, that's very close to my heart is growth mindset is not about a destination, right? I've reached yes. here, and wow, yes. I'm I'm having yeah. growth mindset. So it's like continuous. Yeah. Can I can I share with you a, a little secret, Manbir? Yeah, and please. I guess it's I guess it's not a secret because everyone's gonna listen to it on your show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I told myself when I was a younger coach that I want to be a master certified coach. Mm. Right? And at that point of time, being so young, I thought, wow, that would be so nice being a master certified coach because there are so few in the world. Yeah. And then I realized through my journey. That same thing that you just said, it's not about that destination. Yeah. It's about that continuous growth every day. So mm-hmm. when I got the MCC, finally, actually just this year, uh-huh. <laughs> I realized that it's just the beginning. It's yes. just the start of a new journey again, a new journey of growth, mm. a new journey of learning. So it's all about continual learning. Just yeah. like what you say in one of your chapters of your book, it's about yeah. the continuation of that learning. So that's, yeah. that to me, is part and parcel yeah. of growth. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for bringing in that. You know, I, I really um, feel, as you said, you know, as leaders, we keep mm. on procrastinating. And you really wonderfully <laughs> said uh, default setup right? Mm. We believe in the default setup, something which was giving results yesterday. We believe that, you know, that will give results today also, but unfortunately that's not true. Mm. Yeah. And um, especially in today's uh, pandemic hit world, you know, all of us are facing challenges in different ways in one way or the other. Some Mm -hmm. people, as you said, you know, at small level, some people at larger level, some businesses are really, you know, really, really hit very badly. So um, what do you think, Mel, you know, how does what we are talking about growth mindset, Mm. continuous learning, Mm. how does it all 
practically apply to today's world in leadership? Hmm. Wow, such a big question, Manbir. There are so many angles I could I could say this, um, but I would like to start with starting with your self leadership, right? Hmm. It all begins with you and me, right? Even though yes, we are leading our family, we are leading our organization, we're leading our people, and even our community, right? Yeah. All those are big and nice stuff. Yeah. But it all begins with how you and I lead me, <laughs> myself yeah. and I. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's the start of everything. It's a start yeah. of us choosing who we want to be mm. in the difficult situations, like the pandemic. Mm. Yeah. Right? Who do we want to be? in this time do we mm. want to just sit back and just complain and you know what i'll be frank with you i also have my list of complaints yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's the government's fault oh it's this person's fault politician oh it's this other person and so on and so forth but when we think about it mm. it's actually what we can do about it isn't it mm. Mm. perhaps we can for example make this street that i live in nicer mm. and during mm. the pandemic i've seen it i go for my walks i wear my mask of course mm. Mm. and i see people draw things on the pavement have a mm. good day mm. near their house they they have uh, nice things that they hang over there just to make you mm. smile mm. so i feel like these are the small things that you and i can do mm. still even though it's a tough situation yes yeah but still we have a voice yeah so instead of spreading all kinds of complaints on our social media links right yeah i think it's time to spread positivity it's time mm. to spread the good news mm. it's time to spread little things that you and i mm. can do for the community mm. and instead of just commenting you know mm. about things that is happening so to me it's about starting where you can the small step first just start there mm. start at that level and for me i started i started with my family first <laughs> mm. yeah. i started to make sure that the the family environment because we're all mm. at home right the yeah. work from home situation right yeah. so yeah. we had to persevere with each other we had yeah. to Yeah. Create uh, friendly boundaries with each other. We have to create better conversations with one another so that yeah. we can make this an easier time to live together. Mm, mm, so if this yeah. can be done at home, it mm. can be translated into other parts of our influence. So yeah. that's yeah. how it is. One step at a time. Yeah, one step at a time. You made this look very simple, man. Very simple and easy. <laughs> um, well, you know, I, I rather than controlling, uh, trying to control things mm -hmm. outside my boundary, right? Which I can't. Yeah. Well, I'll try absolutely. to only have these areas of influence that I can influence. So I'll, yeah. I'll just start with maybe my friends, even right. Mm. the extension of me my facebook friends my mm. linkedin friends so i i start to put in positive messaging right even in yeah. every of my messaging from the time of covid it's all about the positive 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 stuff because we all need yes. that for our brain's sake as well <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely and i have been following your linkedin messages and uh, oh, i really <laughs> vouch for that you know you, uh, you really spread positivity so thank um you. from what you said you know i think the question we need to ask then is um what is a small impact i'm creating in my mm. life today maybe a positive impact small positive impact i'm creating in my life today and then mm. extending it to what is the small positive impact i'm creating mm. in anybody else life it may be my near yeah. and dear ones or maybe my team yeah. yes yeah. that's right yeah. 
So, mm. so, so yeah, it, it starts there. It starts with that one step. So, yeah. Um, I give you an example. Like right mm. now, uh, during during the COVID, I actually asked myself, what what can I do? What else can I do? Right. Mm. Um, and so that gave birth to actually the hundred master coaches. Mm. First and foremost, I was very scared. I'll be frank with you. So again, the, the flip side of growth mindset is fixed mindset, right? So the fixed Absolutely. mindset tells me tells me that I'm not a podcaster. I'm not like Tim Ferriss. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm not. So the whole the brain goes and say I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Right. So yeah. it tells us limitations. 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 Yeah. Until one day I say, I don't have to be Tim Ferriss because I'm not Tim Ferriss. I am Mel. <laughs> yeah. I just need to be Mel. So I asked myself, what can I start? And then that mm. thought came because I, I, during the pandemic is when I, I got my MCC. And then I said, now that I've got it, what's stopping you, Mel? That's a good mm. question, isn't it? Yeah. What's stopping you, Mel, yeah. from doing this show with mm. other master coaches and mm. i tell you again manbir i had a whole list oh maybe the master coach one may reject me maybe they will say no they don't have time maybe 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 so I, all kinds of excuses and then a little voice says just give it a go just yeah. ask maybe start with the master coaches that you know yeah they'll probably say yes to you and that's where yeah. I started. I started with my mentors. I started with close friends of mine who were master coaches already. And everyone said, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and to my latest, uh, my latest episode, episode 12, mm. I, I featured uh, Marsha Reynolds, right? And she, of course, is a, is a famous coach, um, the fifth president of the ICF, you know, and of course, uh, she appeared on W Bex uh, recently. Yeah, she was my guest, and again, I wouldn't have thought that she would be my guest if I did not say the first yes to yeah. myself. Yeah. So it starts yeah. here. It starts yeah. here. Absolutely, and congratulations for your MCC. <laughs> oh yes, thank you. And I can really relate to, you know, what we are talking about is having those fears and uh, having those fears is human. All of us have mm. those fears and complain. Of course. Yeah. Yes. And I can relate to all that you spoke about because when I was starting this show, I was like, okay, why do I, <laughs> <laughs> who would see this and blah, 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 <laughs> all those kind of things. And uh, yes, I'm yes. happy that I did that. Let's talk about, you know, I mean, um, you said, you know, there are fears and uh, what I heard was, you know, having <laughs> fears and then being aware of that mm. and then analyzing through them, navigating mm. through mm. them. So what kind of fears do you think people have when they think about their next promotion, when they, uh, when they really, really <laughs> want to, but at the same mm. time, they're fearful, right? You and me have mm. seen this as coaches. Yes. So yes, what would you yes. like to say about that? Well, I just want to tell everyone that they're, they're, not, they're not unique. Um, fear creeps up to everyone. Mm. Um, I'm sure fear creeps up to Tony Robbins, John Maxwell, all the top people of the world. Yeah. But they have a special way to overcome it, right? Yeah. Tony, for example, will will jump up and he will he will get into the state, right? The state yes. of preparing himself. <laughs> I'm yeah. going out there. Come on. And you know, he he and it, it's it's a state of mind. Mm. Right, that you prepare yourself but mm. let's not go there because that's tony robbins that's maybe mm. too far away for for us let's let's yeah. look at what happens in day to day mm. and i'll share with you my experience because before being a coach manbir mm. i was in corporate as well right in mm. asia yeah and yes um i knew i did well because i'm always 
you know, very responsible with my job, right? So I know that I've done a good job. And then there's this voice that said, hmm, maybe you should have a conversation with your boss, you know, um, tell him or maybe ask him, ask him what sort of opportunities does he hmm. see open for you? And I'll be frank, you know, it was tough because I would be so afraid to even go up to my boss and have this brave conversation, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So I would actually try it on a side. I would test it sometimes. I would go out for lunch with him and then, you know, I would, when he's happy and then I'll say, hey, boss, you know, it's time for a... Uh, promotion or it's time for you know and I sometimes won't say it for myself right I sort mm -hmm. of say it for my, my <laughs> team I'm like oh do you know that this person has worked so hard so I'm thinking and and so it happens right sometimes we we kind of deflect the question that right. we want to ask ourselves we deflect it with another story yeah yeah because we are fearful about absolute yeah rejection mm. actually it's about rejection yeah, yeah. You know, you and I um, don't like to feel uh, unappreciated, yeah, um, unwanted, um, and rejected. Mm. So what we often do is we walk away from that in fear of it happening to us. Yeah. And that's why I say, if we were brave enough to take that step mm. to just ask. Mm. There is nothing wrong with asking. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know one of your chapters, you also <laughs> talk about ask. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, mm. we have to be sometimes brave to have yes. a question inside us, right? But not yeah. just inside us, but ask. Yeah. You know, the good book. That's, you know, says, ask and you shall mm. receive and your joy mm. will be complete. And I believe mm. in that words, you know, because mm. sometimes we don't ask. Yeah. We don't know the answer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So obviously there are different things we have to prepare ourselves. That means we have to do a good job. Right. Yes. We have to do what beyond sometimes what we're required to do, not just doing what yeah. we are supposed to do. That's not yeah. doing a good job, actually. No. It's going above and beyond the expectation that the boss sets. Yes. I would always encourage new hires and people who are in mm. the workplace to, to set your bar higher. Yeah. I would often say set your bar higher. Yeah. And go and reach that instead of just reaching what yeah. averagely yeah. everyone is. And that's part of it. Yeah. So it's about a couple of things, Manbir. One is about knowing yourself. Mm. Two, it's about equipping yourself. Yeah. Three, it's about taking initiatives every step of the way and doing more than is requested. Yeah. And then when the time is right, then we need to ask, isn't it? We need yeah. to be brave to ask. Yeah. And present ourselves as mm. that future shelf because it's also about positioning yeah. yourself. Yeah. Because you and I are actually a brand out yeah. there, actually. Yeah. So Absolutely. It's all about all those things and, you know, taking one step at a time, of course, yeah, in getting yeah. to that position. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Thank you for that wonderful advice. You know, that's, that's very good <laughs> You're advice. You're welcome. <laughs> so um, I know we talked a little about the book and uh, you had a chance yeah. to look at the book. So what did yeah. you like the most in the book, Get Your Next Devotion? Wow. Wow. Um, there are a couple of things, actually. Um, one of the last chapters was on emotional intelligence. So go and read the book. It, you know, it's got a lot of stuff. But what I like actually is the chapter on conversations that matter. Hmm. To me, when I think even about that conversations that matter, I think about important decisions that you and I need to make. Hmm. Right? Hmm. Like now, for example... I can't travel back to Malaysia. 
Yeah. That's where I'm originally from. I'm living in Melbourne, Australia now. And so what that means is I miss my mom and my dad, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure, yeah. Now, if anything were to happen to them, mm. and I, of course, wish nothing happens to them mm. until I can yeah. see them, but if yeah. anything happens to them, you and I know that I can't tell the government my parents is sick and I want to go back, I want to fly back. They'll say, I'm sorry, mm. <laughs> our borders are closed. You know, mm. we can't fly anyone, even for those kind of very important yeah. situations. Yeah. So what can I do is the question. Mm. Which means that I have to have that conversation that matters, isn't it? Imagining yeah. like this is the last conversation I'm having with you, Manbir. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I have to say everything I want to say to you yeah. on the call mm -hmm. with you and also for our yeah. audience here who is listening. Yeah. Because it's not about thinking that mm. we can say tomorrow. It yeah. doesn't matter. Let's put it yeah. off for tomorrow because, yeah. you know, because conversations that matter takes us to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like having that conversation with our children even, or mm. our spouse. Mm. It's mm. not about delaying it because the yeah. flip side is, yeah, it's okay. Our ego or our, I was right, mm. they were wrong. So mm. I will not move there and mm. put myself lower than I should. It's mm. not about that. Mm. Because at the end of the day, we may regret those yeah. conversations that we did not have. Yeah. Yeah. So making every moment of that conversation counts. And in the workplace, it's similar. Mm. When I was a leader in the workplace, I often had conversations that matter every evening. Can you imagine this, Manbir? At 5 p.m., <laughs> I would open my door and say, it's time mm. To have a chat with Mel. I won't call people to my room, but there will every day be at least one person that will say, they knock yeah. the door and they say, uh, Mel, can I have uh, 10 minutes with you? 10 minutes becomes 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes with tears, sometimes they are they're upset over certain mm. people in 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 the in the team. Mm. Yeah. Um, situations, sometimes even personal situations, yeah. right? they bring it up mm. because they trust our mm. Mm. relationship. This is all about relationship, isn't it? So, yeah. so yeah. to me, these conversations are important. Yeah. You know, I could yeah. say, hey, hey, this is not, this is not um, work conversation, so don't mm. talk to me now. Yeah. No, it's still important because we are a holistic being. So yeah. we can talk about personal, professional, yeah. aspirations, whatever, with mm. our people. We yeah. need to talk to them as human beings Absolutely. because they are important for them. So yeah. we have to put ourselves, put our, ourselves in their shoes and say, because it is important for you, Mm. This becomes conversations that matter for me as a leader. Yeah, so, yeah. so just giving you this um, and the audience, mm. just different aspects of it mm. at home <laughs> yeah, and you, yeah. even in the workplace. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, um, it's all about this human to human conversations, having that. <sighs> Absolutely. Trust, trusting, trustworthy conversations where people are yeah. trusting you people believe yeah. in you and you believe in people also. Yeah. Lovely. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Mel. That was, uh, that was really very insightful. Uh, before we wind up, Mel, any last words about how would you suggest people to thrive in today's time with respect to their careers? <laughs> well, um, before I was a coach, I was a marketeer. Ah. So, everything I did was branding. Mm -hmm. And again, reference to your book, you talk about personal branding. And yeah. I think that is so beautiful. You see, every one of us stand for something. Mm. And for me as a coach, I stand for empowering leaders to live and be brave. So mm. that's my branding, right? 
Yeah. Just like if I say Manbir Nike, mm. everyone knows. Oh, just do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then yeah. we say Apple. Apple. Yeah. Oh, Apple. You know, it's it's technology, isn't it? That mm. we yeah. know that it is. Obviously, some people don't like Apple. It's okay, you know. Yeah. They can use the Android phones. It's all right. But I'm a I'm an <laughs> Apple fan. So, so it's branding, and yeah. branding yeah. is so essential yeah. in the workplace. Yeah. Which means what? That means you have to not just want to stand out, right? It's not yeah. about standing out, but it's about being in your essence yeah. and bringing out the essence within you. So you may be courageous, or you mm. may be kind, mm. or mm. you may be another one, right? Charisma. Yeah. You could bring yeah. in whatever it is that you bring in. Yeah. You bring in that essence, and it starts with bringing in what's inside you. Yeah. Of course, yeah. it starts with knowing what you represent. That means yeah. your strengths. Yeah. You know your areas, your values, your beliefs. Yeah. All of that is bringing your whole self yeah. and putting it out there yeah. for not just the world to see, but so that you will be proud of yourself as well. Right? Absolutely, yeah. No, no yeah. point creating a brand out there. It looks so nice and everything, and then you are not the brand. You know what I mean? It's, it's yeah, that's a, that's absolutely. A whole, that's a whole yeah. disjoint, isn't it? it, it yes. And that's not um, being yeah. true to who you are. So, yeah. so to me, um, I feel today, especially so, mm. it's time for us to be brave, to let our voice, which is our yeah. brand, come out yeah. and differentiate yourself because the... Days are tough. Everyone would have a degree and would have mm. their masters and would have all that. So everyone mm. has the ticks and the boxes mm. already. What's yeah. your secret recipe? What's your mm. secret sauce mm. that only you can bring to the world? So I yes. think that's what I'm going to leave behind is find that. Find yeah. that secret sauce and live according to your values and beliefs. Mm. And then you and I will have a good night's sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because we are we are we are true to ourselves. Yeah? Absolutely, are... yeah, absolutely, Mel. That's it. That's 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 very powerful. And uh, you know, um, you know, many times people talk about branding as a very external subject, and actually, <laughs> that's a misnomer. Branding is not an external subject. It really, absolutely. as you said, you know, it really, really deeply starts from within. And uh, yeah. you said, you know, bringing your whole self. And that's what is your brand. But the first yes. thing is being aware of that whole self. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, in your book, you have um, questions at the end of every chapter as well. So yeah. this is very powerful for those yeah. who are getting the book. Please don't just read the book. Also spend time with yourself to go through the questions because the questions are the one that can go inside you yeah. and bring out that answer or essence from within. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for those kind words, Mel. You're very You're kind. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mel. Uh, thank you so much. I really enjoyed uh, this conversation with you. And, um, Same here. Thank you for uh, lovely insights. I'm sure my viewers today, my audience today, uh, really, really felt this conversation is equally helpful to them. Um, and uh, thank you everyone for watching this video and uh, see you all again in the next video in this series. And do subscribe to this channel to watch more videos here to help you succeed in your journey. Thank you and all the very best. <laughs>